Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for the opportunity, Mark and Liz and um, my neighbors, to allow me to voice my opinion. I'm a fine artist, and I absolutely delight in um, residing in the state of Rhode Island. I find the environment very precious, and my neighbors' lives and welfare precious as well. Um, I am not going to reiterate any of the uh, shortfalls that have already been mentioned so eloquently um, regarding the licensing approval for um, not complying with the planning and zoning and environmental concerns. Um, but I am very much in opposition because there seems to be very little guarantee besides an assurance by Mr. Campanella that they will be con be very much concerned with the health and welfare of Rhode Island residents, um, especially in the West Warwick area, when they've actually haven't even really proven all the dangers involved due to the, their lack of science. Um, I find that without an insurance plan in involved, we may end up with the same detriment that happened from the company that was Swiss-owned, Sieber Geige, that was in New York, where my family has rental property that is difficult to rent because of the proximity to still contaminated land that has been fenced off uh, and, it, and full of litter and clutter still after being closed in 1984 and it took um, two years for them to actually move out. So I just want Rhode Island residents to remember our own history with toxic um, companies. And I don't think that this beautiful state with uh, the proximity to the ocean, the bays, three important river waterways can afford to stumble into a a chemical disaster that's potential because there's no guarantee and there's no uh, plan financially and it certainly won't be a financial return to the benefit of the of the state residents to the degree that it is guaranteed for the benefit of producing 30 jobs and maybe 100 jobs of builders to the site. So I find that there's just way too many shortfalls and um, lack of consideration. So with that, uh, I just want to also add as a professor of glass art, there's a real concern with paralysis and it hasn't been mentioned much, but there is radiation from high uh, burning processes and uh, that even exists in a glass blowing and what about the fact that there may be more contaminants than plastics that are mentioned plastics being bad enough glass takes 2,000 degrees to burn and it's going to be residual um, solid waste and the waste ash that they are proposing if it does contain glass i.e needles and and things like that so um given those shortcomings and and for the reasons that were stated in the lack of um, compliance with the licensing on behalf of the dem's review i strongly oppose uh, this company moving in thank you